six. Oh, you have it. See, I have it there. <laughs> yes, Lord. Well, wow. Starting at verse 10. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be, be able to withstand in the evil day, and done all to stand. Stand therefore. Having your lines girded about with truth and having the breastplate of righteousness. And I'll stop right there. Well, when I was reading this, I, I just thought about how, you know, God is giving us two choices when we live in the world. And, you know, he told us, you know, choose between life and death. He said that before us. And he told, he told us to choose life. And with that, I just thought it's like, I thought of like a relationship, like you know how in a relationship it's better for us to show our actions rather than saying it. It's better you would rather see see it being shown right. than rather yeah. you right. know saying it. And yeah. I just thought about that. It's only it's a promise. So we come in a covenant with God, and with that, yeah. we have to keep it because you know you wouldn't want to say something and not keep it. And then you know God can't really you know bless us if we're not going to keep our promises. You know He's been right. faithful to us. Yeah. We can't be this way and this way. You know, we have to be divine with God in a, a relationship. And, you know, the love of God is perfected in us when we, you know, when we stay faithful to our promises. Amen. And Amen. that brought me to another scripture, if you can turn me, to uh, James chapter 1. Wow. We have it. Say amen. Amen. And I start at verse 6. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of a sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let no man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. And that, that scripture stuck out to me, like, a lot, because I think about it, like, you know, we when, when you think of a sea, you know, like, it all, every body of water has, like, a current, you know, and when you yeah. go against it, you know, you start to, you know, feel resistance and opposition when you go against wow. the current, and it's yeah. like, when we come in a relationship with God, we're, we're the reason for the current, you know, we, you know, we're supposed to be going in one direction, but it's like when we come in a relationship and we're double-minded, you're going against the current, and it's right. like you're pushing against God when you're supposed to be going wow. the same direction. Wow. Amen. 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 It, just, it just slows you down, and it's just, Come your attention is just, <laughs> <laughs> your attention is just in more than one place, and when, when the attention is in more than one place, you can't really focus, yeah. you can't focus on, on one thing, which is supposed to be your kingdom assignment, yes. and you know, time is, time is coming, you know, yeah. time is long. we don't know our time, so. Yeah. I mean, it's a big, it's a big difference when you go against the current rather than just going with the flow of things that God has planned for you. Yes. And I just think about the uh, the, uh, the verse where it says, verse seven, where it says, "But let not a man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord." And I just think about like how God still, you know, provides for us even when we go wrong. Like He still mm -hmm. watches over us yes. and He covers us even when we go against the current. Yes. And but the scripture says that we shouldn't expect to receive anything. So like for Him to still, you know, look out for us and make sure we're good, even though we shouldn't, it just is amazing. Yeah. And I just think that we're just gonna like we have to answer to God, so we shouldn't lose sight of our, our destiny and our assignment because. Yeah. You don't want to come to God with an unfulfilled assignment. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important to go with the current. And I thought, the Bible does say that the uh, prayers of the righteous, that he will He will answer the prayers of the righteous. Yeah. Yeah. So it's important that, you know, that we go with the current and, you know, flow yeah. with God. And then my second point was to stand strong. Don't just stand, you know. You know, a lot of times we can stand in things, but like, 
you know, when you think about your enemy, if he see you standing weak, like, he's not going to be like, Come on, come on, come on, man. Say that. That's just truth. And I just think about, like, when you fight, like, like, your posture is everything. Like, yes, so, say that. Like, come on. Say that. Yeah. 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 Preach it now. Yeah, when your posture yes. is in a defeated mindset, it mm. just oh say God. that. He's not tempted. Like you can't really fight from a defeated mindset. Yes, like, Ooh, say geez. that. But yes. when when you fight with boldness, yes. oh, right. then that's yes. when your confidence yes. starts yes. to build. Yeah, yes. you're able to, you're able to fight yes. with victory yes. and yes. keep it Good because that's, we yes. already had the victory, so we just gotta keep it. Yes. So I just I just thought about also like in the fight like. I thought about basketball, you know, when you, when we're up in the score, or if you, you're high in another team, you don't just look to, you know, quick shots rushing down the court, like, even if they pick up the intensity, or the pressure on you, you don't, you don't pick up, and I just think about that in life, like, when little challenges come, we shouldn't pick up, or begin to worry, or begin to just stress about situations, because we had the victory, you just gotta take your time, like, that's how I just saw it, and then, like, I heard on the prayer line, uh, Prophet the said, she said, Holy Ghost Boldness. And that's, that really stuck out to me because, like, people, people, like, people in the world, they stand with boldness about what they stand for. Mm -hmm. So us as believers, we got to stand the same way. Yes, like, yes, and right. we can't be withering back and forth. We got to be yes. examples. So yes. that stuck out to me. Yes. And I, I just thought about all this, like, faith is just the root of everything. Like, faith, if we want to have this confidence, it's come from faith. Like, yes. that's, just, yes. that's the, bit, the main thing, faith. So, yes. That bring out the confidence where you, you know you can fight the enemy based upon a place of victory. Absolutely. And then the last one, the last one I had was guard your entryways. Out of mercy. And I was think I was thinking about the stuff that we the stuff that we hear, you know, like with people, the way we talk to people, not just music, but just like people. Like a lot of times when we talk to people, like they may say stuff that may stay the wrong way and like you let offense get to you and that's the last thing you want. Because you start to build up anger, and you don't want that spirit of hatred and anger. Yes, on you, you know? yes, so we gotta yes. be careful the things that we like getting our ears. Yes, say that. Yes, that because we don't want offense to rise up in us. Yes, yes. And then also, what we see, the things we watch, you know, everything as far as that. And the big one was for me was the things that we say, because when we speak, you know, we speak. We're sowing seeds. We're not just saying yeah, things. You know, yeah, yeah. there's the seeds that we're planting as we speak. Yes. So like, you gotta be careful things you say. Don't speak on things that we don't know about because you, you know you're sowing seeds mm. that you had to reap. You had to reap uh, repercussions from it. So wow. yes. it's important to watch Come what you say. Now. I believe Come in Proverbs on. it says that it's, it's power in the tongue. Yes, yes. yes. It's power in the tongue. So yes, it, it's important to use it, yes. uh, use it in the right way. Yes. And yeah, in the heart also. That's another entryway. I feel it's important in the heart. Because I know we all humans, like, we still get feelings for things, and it's important that we guard, like, you got to yes. watch what we attach to. Mm, say that. Come on, preacher. I have been the only person that can really control their feelings, like, you can't really control feelings, like, so it's important that we watch what we attach to, that's because, right. you know, watch feelings, your, your heart get involved in things, wow. yes. and that's what God looks at, he looks at the heart, so yes. if your heart yes. is in one place, even though you may put a smile on your heart in another place, that's what God sees. So yes, it's important that. to watch what we attach to, yes. especially in this season. You Good know, word. it's Good important word. that we, you know, stay on task and not attach to things that just don't belong to us. And that's why I say hold our ground in this season. Amen. 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 Amen.